available. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here. Welcome back to Thrawn's Revenge. Apparently we have reinforcements available. Let me hit pause real quick, turn on all of our options. Now, I have a little bit of a confession to make. I asked you guys a couple of questions about my plan for you guys to answer in the description or in the comments below, but I really wanted to play more of this tonight. So this is actually being recorded on the same night as episode one. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. We were kind of digging in in a few areas. We were taking out the maw. Wait, we already took out the maw. Reporting. Didn't we? Maybe we didn't. We obviously didn't. Okay, let's Construction pause it. Construction complete. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here. Welcome back to Thrawn's Revenge, the epic campaign. I uh, already turned on everything. Yes, let's unpause it. Uh, this is being recorded on the same night as the first episode because I decided I wanted to play some more. So we're jumping back into it. All right, we blockaded Rhodia. We're going to leave a ship here in orbit. So let's just leave behind. We'll just leave this X-Wing squadron behind. We'll grab the rest of the fleet and head up to Bothawa because we're going to engage the enemy Bothawa fleet at the Maw. The Maw, if I remember correctly, is actually where the Kessel Run is. I think. I know it's where all the black holes are and where a lot of smugglers like to make their run, and I think there was like a research station in the middle of that. And what else do we have? Uh, we were building up some ground forces, and oh, you know what, we need to defend this. What do we have on the ground? We have, all right, ground, construction. Let's start building a few vehicles. Unit. unit in production. And Doro, what do you got going on over here? All right, you might, you're gonna get a heavy factory as well. Started. And Denon, you are full up on construction right now. We're building our ground forces because we're gonna be getting the ground, oh yeah, let's get an infiltrator barracks done. The ground invasion of a couple of different plants actually. Construction complete. Which, what happened to our, our, our blockading ship? Shit, there's a station there again we're gonna have to pop. Anyways, the fleet has arrived. Let's just grab everybody and head on for the Maw. There are three Star Destroyers that we need to engage and take out. And you would think this New Republic fleet should be able to wreck it. Tactical battle. Even though they are Star Destroyers, I want to see what the Maw looks like, so we're totally fighting this battle. A black hole cluster near Kessel. The Maw is one of the wonders of the galaxy. It is visible only because of the ionized gas being drawn into the black holes. Grand Moff Tarkin created a top secret research and development facility at the gravitational island at the center of the black hole cluster. This facility, known as the Maw installation, is where the first Death Star was built. Conjecture arose regarding whether the Maw could have occurred naturally or if it was built by a vastly powerful ancient race. So this is where the Death Star was originally located? Does that mean we may see it? We may see the Maw in uh, Rogue One? Because they're stealing the Death Star plans in Rogue One, like that's the, the concept. We Choose do have reinforcements, reinforcements if we need them. I don't think we're going to need them though. This I like. In all of the Clone Wars mods, you can bring in a lot of ships. So many, in fact, Cruiser, it kind of destroys fire. the game's ability to be played game. properly. Enemy forces ahead. Let's grab up the entire fleet. I'm guessing Cruiser they gave us, responding. yep, they gave us full sensor view of the map. And let's see, where are our enemy Star Destroyers? Here they are. I like the black holes in the background. They're not environmental damage, are they? I guess we're gonna find out, because the fleet's moving out. Copy that. All right, keep the tight formation tight. I want those frigates to be able to cover us for anti-fighter. They do carry a ton of fighters. Well, if they're gonna be breaking off like that, let's grab up some interceptors and Weapons grab up charged. the X-Wings and have them come out and start dealing with some of the enemy support. Wing squad while reporting. everything else keeps pushing forward. I should be there any moment now. Weapons operational. Fleet order go. Interceptors go ahead and engage. Take out the bombers while we move the fleet forward. Oh, those aliens. They're keeping real tight next to that space station. I wish they'd come at me. What the hell? Whoa, we're under attack from behind. All right, pull away, pull away. Let's turn around the larger ships and start taking fire. What the shit? Enemy reinforcements and they're red. And those are two Venators. Two Venators and a Imperial Star Destroyer. All right, coming about. Call back the X-Wings, have them engage. We'll turn the fleet around. 
Oh boy, so you gotta engage those fighters. Alright, the escorts managed to take them out. How are we doing on health? You, overload your shield. That's why I wanted you to go in first. You're kind of acting as a blocker for us. Engage those fighters. Y wings, begin the bombing run. You shouldn't be getting that close. Interceptors, get on it. What the hell? Enemy reinforcements from the rear. Two Venators and a Star Destroyer, and there's a CIS cruiser there. Why are we getting... They're a different color, too, so it's like they're a different faction. So my question is, if I would have let them continue on the course they're going, they don't look like they're they're actively following us. All right, let's, let's kick on the Dreadnoughts. Extra damage potential. We need to take out their combat capability. Take it down, take it down. Yeah, where did this come from? I mean, it looks like we're gonna be able to take this down with minimal damage. Yeah, we had a few casualties with the A-Wing squadron, but that's about it. All right, grab up the entire fleet. Start moving in. Like, even if it was Imperial reinforcements, a Venator? Like, this late in the game? I'm this late in the timeline? I'm not, I don't know. Huh. Anyways, we've got three Star Destroyers to take care of. Let's see what their names are while we move forward. The Basilisk. Electo and the Avenger and associated TIE fighter squadrons. It's giving us a chance to replenish the shields on what ship is this? Kathleen, our MC 80. I didn't mean to focus on an X Wing. There we go. There's the fleet. About ready to engage. Huh, so is this this is where the star the Death Star was built. That's why they were able to hide it. That's kinda cool. I like that. Moving to destination. Okay, dreadnoughts. We're heading out. Location confirmed. Let's get ready for it. Reporting. Coming around. We've got a yes, large sir. number of enemy TIE bombers. Yes, Commander. Ready. Let's clear the path Ruser for the rest of the fleet. By. And let's grab up all seven wings of Y-Wings, so they've had a few casualties. Prepare for combat. Don't stop moving. Heading out. Reporting in. We're going in. Ready for command. I really would like the MC-80 to take point, because it can take the most damage. Hold back. All right, well, we're, we're engaging now, so let's do it. Group three, begin your attack run. Group one, engage and intercept those TIE fighters. Look at the shield effect, I dig that. Not gonna last, though. All right, oh, they're all dead? Yeah, there's still interceptors back there. Clear them out. We got the TIE Interceptors. We've got a lot of cruisers here. Do we need to overload any shields? Uh, no, but our Dreadnoughts are getting pummeled. Right away. Moving out. Try to get out of there, boys. Let's see if we can save a few lives here. Target his deflector, or his uh, tractor beam. It's the fighter bay. Where's the tractor beam? There it is. Tractor beam emitter. Get rid of it. No! Well... Not surprising. We can start pulling you out of there. Uh, can't bring another MC-80? No, but we can bring a Nebulon B. They're starting to target our carriers. Let's pull the carriers back. Quasar, just make a run for it. Kick those engines on. There you go. Run, dude, run! Uh, yeah, he didn't make it. I should have pulled him out earlier. Come on, boys. Target those bombers. Give them nothing. Check the shields. Let's go ahead. Oh, let's just keep on all shields. I don't think they're going to live long enough. Oh! MC-80? Let's bring it in slightly out of range and start pulling you out. Give you Nebulon B for an escort. 
Nice. One of the Star Destroyers is down. Not too worried about the station itself. Actually, we're about to kill it. Roger that. We need to make a fleet commander so we can choose the ships that we bring in and the formation that they take. All right, this is it, boys. Target and engage. Enemy space station. Time to finish the job. So yeah, we had enemy reinforcements of some kind, but they were a different color because the, the empire that we were fighting was um, was green. So where did the red come from? I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to know, though. Or if that's something specific with the Maw, like was that reinforcements for the Maw itself? Are we going to see different random events while we fight certain battles? Hmm. I mean, that's kind of cool if it's true. Wow, this space station took a hell of a lot of damage. There it goes. The Maw is ours. Now we can redeploy this fleet somewhere closer to the front line. Few casualties, but compared to three Star Destroyers, psh, worth it. Achieved. Construction so complete. we own the Maw. We'll throw a space station on it just to continue to hold it. And let's move the fleet back up. That way we can hold our ground production facility that we've claimed. Um, and maybe build a Golan platform to help us defend it. I like that idea. And then we'll also grab the heavy frigate shipyard. So Denon is going to become our a very important military asset for us. Now we still have ground forces that need to land. You know what? Give me... Nebulon B, make sure they haven't built anything. We're gonna send you over to scout. At the same time, we need to build up our ground force. Oh, there's a space station there, that's right. All right, we're gonna pull this guy out. I forgot they had built a space station. I must have pulled out their, um, their blockading ship. Because if you leave a ship in orbit, they can't build anything. I must have like grabbed it for a reinforcement of another fleet. That was dumb. Oh, that was more ships than I thought I had brought in. Anyways, we'll be retreating shortly. Looks like a little supply convoy. Now that's something I wish they would do in this. If they ever do a sequel, make it a little bit more in depth, right? I want to see supply convoys rearming the fleet because, you know, torpedoes don't come out of nowhere. Uh, what do they actually have? It's just a starbase and a bunch of... You know, this fleet might be able to Weapons take care online. of this. Frigate moving out. Keep your eyes open As it goes, it's not that big of a fleet. It's just fighters. All we have to do is take the space station out, and the Only space stations in this are unarmed. Uh, let's see what we can do. We're heading out. Let's see what we can do with, um, what is it, six squadrons of fighters, three Nebulon Bs, and a couple of frigate escort ships. As they get closer, we're going around the nebula now. Location confirmed. Watch for enemy fighters. Forward. Giving you orders to just move forward. We've got TIE Fighters incoming. But yeah, but we got plenty of escort vessels. So shouldn't be a problem. Alright, X-Wings, get it done. And it is enough firepower to take out... Yeah, we got this. Let's just speed it up. Nice. I just wanted to scout it out. I didn't realize I sent in this many ships. Obviously, it was enough, though. We'll keep an eye on their health. It's just going to keep spawning TIE Fighters. And... Overshield. We've taken them out. Beautiful. I think this will be our first ground operation, taking this planet. Let's see what we've got in the way of ground troops. Um, yeah, I wish I had more speeders. Did you finish construction? You did. Unit build some more production. speeders. And build some... Do, 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 do. Build yourself a heavy Building factory. Started. I want to see what a heavy factory will, will get us. And you should order Building up a heavy started. factory as well. And since we're holding a fleet here... Hmm, I would like to make Corellia a defended world, but... Actually, it doesn't look like there's any hyperspace lands over there. Anyways, let's grab up some of our Construction complete. ground troops. Let's build a few more troops. infantry. Who is this? This is a specialist. 
Uh, this heals friendly units and can perform basic repairs Recruiting. on vehicles. Recruiting That's actually troops. really, really cool. Recruiting troops. Reporting in. And can you build your infiltrators? Yes, you can. Now, infiltrators are Republic Commandos, highly that. trained special weapons, uh, armed with sniper rifle, able to plant explosive devices that you can capture reinforcement points. Recruiting soldiers. Let's Recruiting order up a couple. That. At the same time, we do have 14,000 credits. It's probably time that we started investing a little bit heavier, especially into uh, orbital defenses of some of these planets that I want to keep, like Yavin 4, which is going to be a launching point, I think, for a combat fleet. And then a combat fleet in general, like Mon Cal should start building us a, a monster. Wow. A monster fleet, like some, Vehicle give us a couple of MC-80s. There's a Marauder cruiser here. Yep, Vehicle let's grab a couple of those. And in production. let that build. Sounds good to me, because we do have a planet here that we need to take. Might use some of our heroes to, to do some damage complete. there. Ready for combat. Reporting. Can we give Reporting you any in. more orbital defense? Well, if I take this planet, it will be a non-issue. Reporting. We'll wait and see. T2B what they do. over. T2B over. Time to start moving the ground troops Enemy out. Fleet. Ready for combat. Ithor. Where's Ithor at? Let's see if we can beat them there. See, I gotta learn what planets are under my control so I can quickly find them. If, yeah, see what I said? This is exactly what I was worried about. This is one of those planets. This planet can build light frigates, uh, planetary info. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to hold this. We'll see what happens though. These are the two planets I thought we would lose because it's just in the middle of, oh, it's Thrawn. That is Thrawn, right? Admiral Thrawn, shit. He's moving into New Republic space. Really, he's just brushing us aside. There's not a lot here. I just want to see what Thrawn captains. I'm sure it's some ridiculous Star Destroyer or something. What is Ithor? Located in the mid-rim, Ithor is a vertebral garden of Eden full of life and untouched by civilization. The native Ithorians worship nature and believe in the sanctuary of all life, the sanctity of all life, especially the sacred mother jungle that covers their world. Upon discovering repulsor lift technology, they built floating cities to avoid damaging their planet. Very cool. Our tiny little New Republic star dock. And what do we have in the way of a fleet? Basically nothing. Moving to Start pulling them back Vectors while we wait for, uh, what is this, the calculation for a hyperdrive, I guess? For hyperspace? Reporting. We're leaving. Right away. Move the fleet back. Come on, give me full sensor scan. There they are. There we go. Commander Stint, this is just all heroes. And Thrawn, the only non-human to ever be given the tank, the, the rank? or title of Grand Admiral. Thrawn is a master strategist and tactician, and he is aboard the, it just doesn't say the ship's name, but I'm sure you guys know what it is. I don't know what his ship's name is. Uh, we are leaving though. We are retreating. Five seconds. Fighters are coming in. Just a few more seconds. The bulk of the Republic fleet got away. We lost an entire world. The Athorians are going to be pissed. See, like if that if we had this more complicated strategy title, right? Something a little bit more in line with like Stellaris, but with real-time battles, like you get in Empire War, where. I just lost Ithor, right? So all the Ithorians in the New Republic are gonna really have issues and that could cause some problems for the New Republic. Things like that. Targeting worlds based on the race that's from there, their home world, might be something the Empire would want to do. Annihilating or bombing it from orbit could be something that they do and could really set the New Republic's, it might up their recruitment, but lower their morale, who knows? There's some really fun stuff that they could do to play off the lore, right? Reporting. Anyways. We were preparing, got a feeling we're gonna be we're gonna be hit real soon, but we were preparing a ground force In to invade the two planets that we've blockaded. Uh, let's go ahead and move out. These ground troops were were very heavy 
in armor right now. We need more Moving to infantry. Reporting. Is this our one of our specialists? I need more infantry platoons and more rocket infantry. Join up. Construction complete. There we go. Rocket infantry. Now we're talking. And let me see. You should have finished. You're about to finish your heavy. Oh, you've already built the heavy. Oh, yes. Get some artillery in here. Stop building, specialists. Build artillery. Heavy tracker. Built by the Macoon Corporation. The heavy tracker is the most heavily armored combat assault vehicle available to the New Republic. High-powered sensors make it excellent command vehicle. Let's go ahead and build it. We'll get our first artillery brick out, and do I want anything else? Like maybe a T3B heavy vehicle? vehicle maybe one production. group of heavy battle tanks? Though, you know what would be easier? Cancel. Build it from here, we don't have to unit. wait. Also, a, a Gallifrey transport would be nice. These are the floating transports. I don't think we need this, this many ground troops, but I would like to be prepared, and I want a, a, a proper New Republic ground force ready to go, so we don't have to wait too long. And then we need to start building out multiple fronts as I reinforce these. Speaking of reinforcing, uh, we should think about defending these other planets. Maybe a golem platform out here and give me another ion cannon. And we should probably flush out this. How many golem platforms can we build? Give me another one. Shit, yeah, let's have two. Oh! Chardan Space is under attack. I don't know who these people are. By two heroes. Eight Converian, captain of the Victory Two Star Destroyer Corruptor. Converian is an aggressive starship captain who believes strongly in the Galactic Empire and is fiercely loyal to Sard. Uh, an admiral under Thrawn's command, Colonel was at Coruscant awaiting punishment for disobeying orders when Palpatine died at Endor. In the following chaos, he broke away from the fleet and styled himself as a warlord before giving his allegiance to Azard. So we've got two war criminals, that's what I'll call them, attacking our space station. Let's begin, though. I don't think I've got anything on this planet, so this is probably going to be just a quick surrender. And then we'll, we'll backtrack a fleet here. We're surrounded by enemies to the Republic. We can't be losing this. This is going to cut our reinforcements off, and we won't. We, we're going to lose this battle here. I just want to see what they're captaining. A victory and something else. Ready for action. And how many yes, spawns sir. do you get from... Station ready. A frigate shipyard. Yes, Commander. Is it just two squadrons of X-wings? Yes, sir. You get a Y-wing. Orbital command available. Anything else? Yes, Commander. Two Y-wings. The enemy Ready. is approaching. On my way. Yeah. Fire. Three interceptors are coming in. So we got a victory two and a proper star destroyer. We're not taking that down with this group. Y-Wing Squadron reporting. Responding. I kind of want to try, but it'll never happen. Proceeding to coordinates. Y-Wing standing by. Yeah, we'll never Hit be able to engines. break through the shields. All right, well, let's go ahead and just auto-resolve the battle. Obviously, we're going to be defeated here. I didn't see a ground force with the fleet, so I should be able to turn a... We have... Tactical battle imminent. Where, where? What? Oh, they're starting to come at me from all sides. Individual fleets. What is this planet? What do we get for this? Is there any special bonuses? Well, we're going to auto-resolve that. And we're going to leave our ships here. We are going to dig in a little bit better, though. Building under construction. And before they have a chance to bring ground troops in, Auto move the fleet here. Tactical battle and take place. them down. Yeah, so I want to establish a couple new Republic fleets and get two fronts going. I don't really have a choice. There's too many directions that they can come from. Maybe three. I'm thinking two in the south and then one up near Yavin. First, we're going to deal with these fellas. A couple of Star Destroyers. You guys came into the wrong neighborhood. And we're not going to wait. Launch all fighters. We'll send them in first, and we'll probably Standing send them by. in with the Corvettes, because they can get there fast. I don't want them to retreat. Give me that sensor scan. Reporting. The enemy has been spotted. Oh, they're not retreating. They're gunning right for us. Yes, sir. Ballsy. 
That backdrop, those Star Destroyers look great from the perspective of a Quasar Captain. I've got my Here we go. Wildwing Squadron. Open fire. Open fire. I mean, there's not a whole lot for me to give you guys orders for. Just target the nearest enemy vessel and shoot the hell out of it. Take him down, broadside him. Those assault frigates are actually pretty large. I mean, that's a victory right there that he's running into. All right. All... Oh, shit. Entire fleet. Take out his shield generator, or his uh, engines. Oh, he's down. Beautiful. Man, should chase them out. That's what I wanted. Now we need to bring the fleet back, or we need to split the fleet. Probably gonna split the fleet up a bit. Because we need to defend behind us. Artillery online. Tactical battle imminent. They're going after the Wookiee homeworld. <sighs> Shit. Can't say I'm surprised. And they are gonna win that battle. Yeah, I can't say I'm surprised at all. That means they're gonna be pushing in fast. 4,000 credits currently in the bank at the earliest of the week. So we're not going to get any more coming in, and we're surrounded on all sides. The nearest reinforcements, though, aren't too far away. If we could blow through this Imperial fleet, that's a sizable fleet. But if we could blow through that enemy fleet at uh, Gaidine, we could push through to and give the, the Wookiee homeworld some relief. Auto resolve the battle. Marauder cruiser here. I think that's not a bad idea. It's going to be a hell of a battle, but if we can push through, we can get reinforcements to the Wookiee homeworld, and that's very much worth it. Uh, we may have to hold some of these planets. Hmm. All right. Let's start this ground invasion. Shit. Wait, what? We're being assaulted from the Maw? How are they getting ships to the Maw? Yeah, how are they getting... Is it a... It must be a retreat. No. I've destroyed every ship. How did they get ships here? I am very confused. Auto resolve the battle. Don't have much of a choice. Enemy fleet approaching. Oh, yeah. They're not waiting around now. They're coming from all sides. Well, before they approach, Tactical begin the... Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it's the second planet. But it's only an interdictor that showed up. Auto resolve, let's see how well it does. You've won the battle, we've lost nothing, we took out the interdictor. That's what I like to see. Auto resolve, the very first time I've done it, I agree with those results. We outnumbered them and the thing is not very well armed. All right, begin the damn ground invasion. Oh, I really want that artillery over there. T4B ready. Destination. Hurry up. Saved. Get over here. Get over here quick. I want to start this invasion. This ground army is ready to go. Nebulon and then we're going to hit Gaidine. Start the invasion. We still need to liberate Rhodia in the south. I forgot about that. Invasion commencing. really want to get that done. Much work needs to be done. Uh, we are going to begin this battle because this will be the first ground battle that we've done to get us ready for the invasion of Rhodia, which I bet is going to have some defenses. So this is the planet that is mostly, that is a city. Industrial world on the Carillion Run. Enemy units Begin the invasion. What the local populace is on our side. Sadly, the stormtroopers seem to be mowing them down in the streets. That's not good. Um, let's drop some yes, do. reinforcements, reinforcements down. I'm thinking, uh, do, 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 do. let's get some heavy armor on the ground. Let's bring in, what are you Here, guys? Sir. Just normal infantry? All right, let's get some rocket infantry way, down. Man. Let's bring in some air support. And that's gonna be it. We're gonna focus on taking this drop point. The enemy is already secured. And let's start using the local population. There's the ATST he's roaming about. Let's use the local population, see what kind of damage we can do. Would you guys to group up? What would be even better, you boys in the north, come on here and see if you can capture this reinforcement point. Are we still dropping troops? No, we're not. Troops are on the ground. There's our heavy armor. There is our infantry. Oh, civilians. Just do what you can. Break what you can. Grab up. 
these groups of civilians to the south get them as if they're one big group they do a little bit better all right air support is coming in see if we can take that atsd down we need to locate and destroy the enemy oh let's check out these t4bs three bees we've secured the landing zone nice I think what we're gonna do is bring in a group of specialists out. bring in the artillery oh, there's no like good place to stick the artillery canceled. and then a unit of t1b's to defend the artillery I like this plan adjusting ready sir give me ready for orders Copy. Where are you flyers at in route moving to coordinates we're going in Start making your attack run on these guys. Should be able to take them out. Let's move our ground troops. Right. Got it. What's up here? Moving out. Waiting orders. Reporting in. We can dispatch all these civilians to secure that drop point. If we take it, it'll up our, our build cap. Speeders! Wow, it's really hard to tell where your units are in this. Where's our artillery? Oh, we never dropped it. Probably not enough space. Right away. G2B over. On it, Come up here. Course plotted. G2B copy. Oh. Right away. Come on, civilians. Do what you can. We'll give you the support that we can muster. Oh, hello. Enemy defenses. Do we have any orbital strikes that we can do? No, we don't. We don't have bombing runs either. But it looks like our infantry have made it pretty damn far. Now, my question yes, is, and I'm about to divide you guys up. Nicely done. Another ATSC is down. Where do I want to dispatch you? Let's send you guys. Ah, oh, we just lost one. Damn. What are you fighting? Take them down. We need to yes, find commander. the power relay now. If it's not, I'm betting it's over here on the left, but I'm gonna try to make a quick flyover of their actual base. If we can find the shield generator. Or we just found it. And if you guys can take it out, we're gonna be able to walk right through their defenses. Oh, we can bring in more reinforcements. Let's bring in more air units. In route. Engines primed. Checking sector. Fire support ready. How you doing back there? We've almost got a... No, we don't. We're about like a quarter away. Come on, where are those? Copy. Ready. Good copy. I've got a lock. Come on, you've almost got it. Attack. Take out that shield Fire. generator. The power generator. All right, the new, the new wing is coming in. Beautiful. Their defenses are down. I love these. Speeders are so good. Uh, so good. Check for any other defenses they may have. Watch out for anti-air. Looks like it's just ATSTs and then probably a... Ready to go, Roger. Commander. A building of some kind. They even have that. My infantry are pretty close. Let's move them in. For the Alliance! This way. We're right behind. We can actually move the main combat force up now. Reporting. Moving into that area, sir. Come on in. Ready, sir. In route. Yep, speeders. We need more of this. Now if they did build some anti uh, no reason to take out the turrets. Uh some anti air. They would have wrecked us, but they didn't. So we're gonna be able to just walk right through them. Let's go. Keep going. There's the building. Fire at will. Just what we're looking for. Bombing runs ready to go. Call it in. Right, let's get you boys out of here. Over there. I copy. Whoa! I've got a sword. Now the battles go really, really fast in this, so hold position here. Ready. Destination received. Deploy artillery. Bring in the air units to call, bring up some backup. We deployed our artillery, which should be firing now. Hold this position and guard it. What the hell is shooting us? Oh, they've got anti-air. Shit. Well, the rockets are laying waste to them. That's good. 
Let's bring in some more reinforcements. reinforcements. Our armor is rolling up. Heavy armor. Get yourself right there. Let's bring in a couple of specialists for repairs. Oh, we lost one of our... Damn. Yes, sir. We lost some of our artillery. You guys have the shield generator, so damn it! I copy. What just shot you down? Heavy armor rolling up. Give them the good news. That is a lot of ATSDs. Switch to rockets. What are those reinforcements? Now take out the armor. Don't waste your rockets on. Ugh. Roger that. Are you out of range? Farm up. Come on, boys. We're losing a lot of heavy armor here. There's the reinforcements. Get up in here. Take them down. Yes, sir. Almost there. Starting the They just bomb us? No. That's our artillery coming down. Push forward, push forward. We need to take out their production facilities. Wherever these ATSTs are coming from, we need to take it out. Bring in the rest of the civilians. We could use the intel. And another reinforcement point would be nice. We can bring in a lot more troops. More armor and more infantry. And then let's go ahead. Build some defenses of some kind. I like that you're shelling something. Oh, good. You're taking out a turret. Come on. We're moving out. Where is our artillery? Load it up. I want you up assault. here. So we've taken out their barracks that was here. Ah, here we go. There's the production facility. Move up. All those rockets. Everything here shoots rockets. There we go. That was a lot of ATSTs. I wasn't expecting that. Either this thing was just spawning away, or they had a couple. They had two divisions of ATSTs. I see. So those losses kind of sucked, and I even took out their turbo laser towers before that battle began. Planetary control achieved. But we now own the planet. Complete. And I'm thinking it's time we're gonna mount one big ass assault on Gaidin and try to get some relief to the Wookiees. Let's do it. Approaching. Enemy fleet approaching. Tactical battle. Not sure Correct. where. Anyways, we're beginning the battle. Ah, I didn't I didn't make one of them one of these ships the commander of the fleet. That's too bad. An industrial world in the expansion regions. Gaindeen is a local administrative center and home to research shipyards owned by Quat Drive Yards. It was an Imperial stronghold throughout the Galactic Civil War, but was later abandoned as the Empire fragmented. Yeah, abandoned, sure. I already know there's this fleet sitting there. Let's see what we've got. Some type of structure, and at least two Star Destroyers here and here. It's a very bright system, that sun is. Geesh. We've got them! Send reinforcements! Three Star Destroyers, a Golan platform. This could be bad. I do have reinforcements, but there's not that many. And this gigantic shipyard, which is calling in reinforcements. Great. Hmm. You can hear them. You can hear the, like the Carrick cruisers, like hyperspacing in. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Ready to commence. Let's grab the fleet. Let's dispatch a couple of interceptors, see if we can grab this up. Maybe we can use it against them. Weapons charged. They've dispatched a couple of Thai bombers for some reason. Ready for orders. Send out two X-Wings to deal with it. Roger. We're starting our attack run. Ready for duty. Full throttle. Reporting in. Try not to Where are they at? Asteroids ahead. All right, you have your orders. 
Take out the TIE Bomber Squadrons. Now, the question is, can you A-Wings capture this? You can. Well done. Constructing. Form up. Form up. Copy. Main fleet is moving in, heading south. Two X-Wing squadrons are entering the asteroid field to find and destroy a group of TIE Bombers. We found them. That's a cool shot. That looks great. Right, we've intercepted them. Hey, these missiles are almost online. Construction complete. Missile defenses. Now the two Star Destroyers have actually separated and started defending the, the dry dock back there. It's an interesting choice. Bombers reporting in. Seeing how many bomber wings we actually have. Weapons operational. Ready. Roger that. Y wing here. Calling for me, sir. Construction complete. Yeah, get down here. Let's see if we can bait them toward the toward the defenses we've got. Roger that. Form up. Reporting. Yes, sir. All out. Let's see what kind of damage that we can do. Away All right, Y wings and X wings move up. Same with the interceptors. Let's let's see how much damage we can do. Copy. Attack that target. See if I can bait them toward us. At the very least, do a little bit more damage. All right, come a little bit closer. Let the um, MC80 come in first. Most of the attack fleet move up. With the MC80 taking point, because we can shield that. I'm losing a lot of fighter squadrons, so go ahead and fall back. This is also going to give me the opportunity to see how many fighter reinforcements I get, which is something I really wanted to do. All right, X Wings, break and engage. Break and engage. Taking almost no damage. Right, swing in a little bit more. What are they firing at? I mean, I'd love to kill the support fleet, but I really want to kill this defensive platform. So if you guys could start focus firing on that. Let the MC-80s take the brunt of the hits. Because I can overload their shields. I also don't want Let's these Star Destroyers to engage. All right, overload your shield. You're still doing fine. And we've got lots of anti-fighter support. I'm hoping we're going to get more fighters. We might not, actually. Come on. Bring it up. Bring it up. How are you doing? They're not breaking through the shield, are they? Oh, they are breaking through the shield. All right, start pulling away. Be faster if you hard to port. Yes, nice. Take the shield generator out. Let's engage the rest of the, the fleet. How are you doing? Your shield is down and you're starting to take damage. And they just took out your... Ah, they took out your engine. That sucks. Overload your shield. They got the support fleet. The Star Destroyers are still hanging back for some reason. This is actually working out to our advantage. Overloading our engine, our power. Power to weapons. Get in fire range. Yeah, fall back. And let's see, can we sell this? Oh, we can't sell it. Damn. I don't want to lose an MC-80, if I can help it. Alright, all crap, folks, with the golden platform. It's almost down. Get out of here, gunboat. Now I really wish I would have had the repair facility back here. That would have been far more interesting. You just sit back there, we'll be fine. We can pull out if we need to. Our reinforcements are really close. And pull you out. Kick on your engines and fly. Everybody else is doing just fine. Now we're just taking out the support fleet, which is hilariously actually sitting here and fighting this out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost out of range. Got him. They got the next one. All right, Star Destroyers are starting to engage. We're getting a little bit too close. Kick on your overshield and fall back. Hold back. Is your shield still alive? Oh, I think your shield generator is down. Damn it. All right, come on and get back up here. I need you in the fight. I guess we're going to get committed now. No! We're going to lose that assault frigate because he got in range of the Star Destroyers. Ouch. 
shoot! Go, just go. I'm ready to bring in a couple of MC-80s and start engaging. All right, we gotta start taking out the big guns. Open up. Let's bring you in back here. And another Nebulon B. It's up to you boys to take out the fighters as they come in. Oh, that tractor beam is just gnarly. It's up to you, take out those fighters coming in. Good, our second wave of, of friendly fighters have just spawned. Intercept and engage, intercept and engage. Take the tractor beam emitter out. I want to be able to retreat. Shit, we're going to lose an MC-80. That's okay, though. We're about to take out a Star Destroyer. And that's a bulk of their firepower. Interceptors, get in there. Y-Wing, take him out. Oh, he's down. Yeah, he's down. Um, all right. Boost all shields, because they're going to start switching targets soon. You little guys, burn and turn and burn. Go. You're too close to those Star Destroyers. We've almost got him. All right, they just lost a ton of firepower. Let's swing the rest of the fleet up. Take out his engines. Is the shield down? No, his shield isn't down. Damn. All ships. Engage them. Oh, I can't box select. Oh, game. You're always having issues. Right, take out this. Trayton's got way too much health. Way too much firepower for such a small ship. Just take him down. Take care of this for me. Can't let the fighters survive. Did I lose all of my blockade runners? It looks like I did. Damn. Alright, MC-80s. You're my front liners. Get in there. Begin the assault. So I can overload their shields. They can take a ton of damage. Well, I can't because I've already used it. But we've just about taken out the shield generator. Oh, you little bastards. Get back here. Don't follow the fighters in. We're doing this for the Wookiees. This is what I was worried about, was if I lost the blockade runners. Burn your engines, get out of there. If I lost the blockade runners, I wouldn't have any anti-fighter support. This could still go either way. Power to shields. Oh, we're going to lose another MC-80. And we just about took out the other Star Destroyer. Target the bombers. Damn, 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 damn. Holding fire for maximum effect. We need to take out this star base. Get in there closer. You boys engage. Come on, take it down. We need to retreat. We're down to one MC-80 lap. We've, we've lost too much. And they're still spawning ships. And our escort ships are unable to take out the enemy bombers. And our last MC-80, who, who I'm overloading shields on, The Empire's won this day. All right, we're retreating. I'm giving the order. Ten seconds. Just hang in there. Oh, you've already lost your engines. We'll get a Dreadnought out of here, a couple of Nebulon Bs. We're going to have to replenish the fleet. Wow, all right. So, oh, Star Destroyers. If we would have put a repair facility back there, we could have kept bringing ships back and repair. We did take out two Imperial Star Destroyers. Not too bad, though we did lose four MC-80s. Damn. The Golem platforms are no joke as well. Let's Tactical build. Where are we under attack? 
Oh, that fleet that attacked Kashyyyk is now hitting us. We can deal. We can. I think we can handle this. It's only one Star Destroyer. I, it's only one Star Destroyer. If anything, for my last battle, I should know. Star Destroyers are far better in combat than an MC-80. Not surprising, actually, how things probably should be, lore-wise. So, we're defending this planet. I'm going to go ahead and save here and end this episode, because I'm pretty sure it's been like an hour. Uh, I'm really enjoying this so far, though. The enemy is hitting us. The battles aren't easily noticeable. Like, I don't know exactly if I'm going to win or not at the beginning, which is a nice change of pace, because it kind of got a little samey when I was playing the Clone Wars. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, wow, our fleet is spread all over the place. What we can do is... Wait till the next episode. <laughs> and then probably hug this Golan platform and let its heavy turbo laser cannons and proton torpedoes get the work done. I'll see you guys in the next episode.